Well, hello, my fellow car modelers. How are you doing this morning? Happy Saturday. And it is the 1st of July. And you know what that means. It's the start of the... And this is my start video. I've been really looking forward to getting going on this. Yeah. Let's take a look. I already made two videos. I threw my hat in twice into the ring. Like that. Again, I've had a little change of heart. I first showed you that Fujimi 73 off-road rally car that I bought as a built-up. I wanted to do this really cool patinaed hot rod Porsche. I really, really have been wanting to do that for a long time. The idea has been gnawing at me. But I also had another Porsche. I have many Porsches that I've kind of started and want to finish. And then I also showed you my 964 project that I want to do. That, that other Fujimi kit from that uh, Japanese anime movie. And, uh, well, I'm thinking, you know what the heck, I decided I really, really want to do this one. I want to do my rat rod or hot rod, outlaw, whatever, little 73 Porsche. This one just, I can't get it out of my mind, so I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to stick to my plan. I also have something I want to use with this that is new product that I'm going to be coming out with that's really geared towards the hardcore Porsche modelers. You guys are going to like this. I got something really cool to show you. I'll bring it up here in a moment. But just to recap, I am going to build this thing as a tattered, ratted up 911 that is hot rotted and I got some really cool plans. I'm going to probably scrap most of this chassis because it's glue bombed to beyond belief. But the big reason is this has got the lifted version of, uh, of the suspension for doing that off-road rally stuff. So uh, instead of trying to mess with this, I actually have a parts kit that's one of the old 930 enthusiast kits. And all the all the chassis parts and everything, they all inter intertwine with these kits. I'm going to try to save this interior, though, because I want to use as much of this interior because I like those in the, the door panels and this roll cage is perfect so i'm gonna try to save as much of that we've got really a lot of glue on there to get rid of and i don't want to break those so i'm going to try a couple little tricks that the last time when i did the video of breaking it down like this there was a few people that made suggestions in the comments see i do read them that uh, put it in the freezer so i'm going to try putting this in the freezer i'm going to try to get these busted out and hopefully i can it looks like there was a little bit of chunking going on right there. That's okay. I got a really cool plan for these seats, and they are really glued in. I just don't want to lose any of that. I really want to retain that that roll cage. It's it's perfect, perfect for what I want to do, and it's it's kind of like made for the Porsche. But it's not that big of a deal if I don't. I could actually make a better roll cage. Now that I look at it, it's kind of kind of low. I don't like how low it is. I think this will be fun. I'm not going to worry about an engine. This is going to get glued back on. And this is going to be pretty much a, you know, I don't want to say a curbside, but I don't know. You know, who knows? I might go for doing the engine up because I think I might have a good engine to put into this. But I just don't think any of this chassis is going to be usable for me. It's just too, too glued with that old... Uh, testers glue that melts it together i don't even want to deal with it i'm kind of planning on doing some resin pieces for 911s in 24 scale hopefully gearing them more to fit what's the most available right now are the revel 911s that have recently came out i'm probably going to be based on a lot of stuff i'm going to be doing like some bumpers and i talked about i'm going to do one of these deck lids they're going to be basically just knocked right off of the Fujimi kits. I've got quite a bit of the Fujimi kits. But there's one thing that does not come from any kit that I'm going to offer here real shortly on my, you know, Porsche 911 <laughs> line or whatever I'm going to call it. There's a set of wheels, a particular set of wheels that need to be on this build that I'm doing. And the only wheels to run would be good old 
Porsche steelies, but not just stock steelies, but ones that have been widened. I want to have them deep dish, a little bit deeper in the rear than the front. Where do you get those? Well, I was going to try to make some. Like Fujimi has a spare tire. I was going to try to do it from that spare tire, but something better comes along, right? 3D printing. My great friend, Jim Rogers from Salvino's JR Models, who is an excellent designer. I sent him pictures and he whooped up something for me. Look at this. This was the thing in a past video I did when I threw my hat in the ring for this. I showed this real quick, so now I'm letting you really look at it. You see that? A Porsche steel wheel, a deep dish one. But what's really cool what Jim did for me was not only made one, but he made me four depths. And you see we've got two fronts and two rears. The rears just left the uh, the center open and the fronts have a little bit of a fill in of the hub right there. So we've got there's another front that's a little bit deeper and then we've got a really deep rear right there. So we've got we've got four different sizes. Well two fronts, two rears and we're gonna get those into some rubber and I'm gonna start producing them and selling those. I think those are going to be a really great hit and I just they're just fantastic and the perfect tire for this project I found some of you longtime model builders you have built a lot of 70s MPCs there used to be this really cool tire I don't know where it originated from but this awesome Goodyear that came in the um a lot of the MPC kits. It's popped up every once in a while. The last time I remember it popping up in, I believe I could be wrong, but uh, when Stevens International reissued about 20 years ago, the Twister Vega, uh, I believe there was a set of these in there too. Just a perfect, beautiful, I, I love, I collected these up a lot because if you do old Trans Am cars like late 60s, early 70s, these are like the best tire to use because this replicates the rain tire that they ran in SCCA or a lot of the um, late 60s, early 70s bias ply rain tire. It's just a perfect tire for, for the look I'm going for. And it's 25th scale. These are 24th, but it's, it pops right in. And I think it's going to have, whoa, the perfect look I'm wanting for this. For this car gonna have these right in there nice nice wide ones now they did front ones but they just did them too darn skinny so I might have to I've got a lot of these so I might have to widen these up a bit just make them a little bit wider but I don't know it might work on this car when I'm building it I'll make that decision but definitely man that's a super fat tire and it's just the perfect look for what I'm going for 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 this Porsche so this is it that's what I'm doing I am getting on this I'm gonna start working on it I got a real bad problem with this front windshield still not sure how I'm gonna deal with that I don't want to you know we got some mess ups here some of this melted plastic from the hot glue I'm probably just gonna work with it I'm gonna work with a lot of this stuff is is just you know it's gonna be a beat car so we'll rust it up a bit in those areas but I'm probably going to have to, this is kind of not really glued in the, there that well. That kind of sucks, but I don't have an extra windshield. So I'm probably going to have to work around this and maybe we'll get that thing back up in there when we get it all painted. I'll probably leave it where it's kind of loose there so I can mask it easy. We're just going to have to work around that. But I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. It's going to be a quick, cool build. You're watching the Lucas C channel on YouTube. We got the the side glass. Some of it's a little, and eh, but I think that's gnarlyed up. That's all hidden in there. I'm sure. Let's take a look. Yeah, we won't see any of that. So that's going to be a it's going to be a really fun build. So I'll be giving you updates. But that's it. I have decided. I am going to go with this. I am going to paint this thing a red. I decided sticking with what I was going to do. I'm going to make it kind of a red that's very sun faded and burned and do some 
cool patina tricks I've been wanting to try out and making it look like that kind of sun-baked fading out paint maybe some primer showing and I think I'm gonna have the the bonnet here be primer gray or a different color maybe a blue I don't know I want to kind of just want to have the, the the bonnet to be a different color but the rest of the car is going to be red and that should be a lot of fun and the, the wheels are going to be like a just a a silver just a, a silver paint so that is that is where we're going with this we're going to get started on this i got to dig out my parts kit and start assessing what i have and seeing if i can retrieve as much of this as i can i think i can that'll be really cool so if you're wanting to get in on this porsche build with all of us it starts today and it ends on September 30th. And if you get onto the Facebooks and you haven't joined the Lucas's Porsche Model Car Headquarters, right there, that's kind of the home base for it. If you have a YouTube channel, post your YouTube videos. If you don't, no biggie, just go on there and post. It's not a competition, it's just a fun build. Everybody just show what they're doing and inspire one another. That's the whole basis of this, is just to have fun as a community and it's neat to see how many people are actually interested in Porsche modeling or modeling of Porsches which kind of excites me because I really do want to start coming out with a lot of really cool parts in resin for Porsches and I just didn't know if there'd be a market for it and probably not a huge market for it but I've got some really cool ideas that have never been done like these wheels and I think uh it would be maybe something that will start more people getting into building Porsches. They're getting really popular with modeling, especially these 911s. But classic Porsches are getting so popular. I'm seeing more and more of them built in the race cars. And it's really, really cool. That's why I started this group a long time ago. And it kind of sat a little dormant, but it's starting to get some life. And I think if you're into Porsches, building model Porsches, that's a great place to hang out. So go check it out. So you guys have a great modeling weekend. I've got some lots of modeling to do now. I still got a few other projects I'm working on, plus I'm working on some cool new things that we're going to be coming out at Lucas C Products. And uh, hopefully kicking all that into gear. But uh, what will we do it? Why? You know, because it's model cars, and we love tinkering with these model cars for one reason and one reason only. That's right. You said it. I heard you say it. I heard you say I heard you, and I heard... You over there, in the back, you said it, because they're fun. Here's the producers.